grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us meditate on the confession of sin. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, to set forth his praise, to hear his holy word, and to ask for ourselves and on behalf of others those things that are necessary for our life and our salvation. And so that we may prepare ourselves in heart and mind to worship him, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Welcome to morning prayer. My name is Tim Brumfield, Director of Music, Organist, and Choir Master here at St. Gregory's Episcopal Church of downtown Boca Raton, Florida. I apologize for a false start earlier. I was having some technical difficulties and um, I just needed to get those sorted out very quickly. Thank you for staying with me this morning. It's a pleasure to be back after being off last week. If you would like to follow along, I'm beginning on page 80 in the Book of Common Prayer. Once again, welcome to everyone. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Since by a man came death, 
by a man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Jesus Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 119, verses 97 through 120. It's found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 771. Oh, how I love your law all the day long it is in my mind. Your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies, and it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my study. I am wiser than the elders because I observe your commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I do not shrink from your judgments because you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your commandments, I gain understanding. Therefore, I hate every lying way. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. I hate those who have a divided heart, but your law do I love. You are my refuge and shield. My hope is in your word. Away from me, you wicked. I will keep the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your promise that I may live and let me not be disappointed in my hope. Hold me up and I shall be safe and my delight shall be ever in your statutes. You spurn all who have strayed from your statutes. Their deceitfulness is in vain. In your sight, all the wicked of the earth are but dross. Therefore, I love your decrees. My flesh trembles with dread of you. I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson today is taken from the Epistle of James, chapter 5, verses 13 through 18. Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? 
They should call for the elders of the church and have them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise them up. And anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being like us, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth yielded its harvest. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. These readings are some of my favorite, for it's about having faith. This next reading is from the Gospel according to Luke, one of my all-time favorite lessons. Let's listen. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your span of life? If then you are not able to do so, a small thing as that, why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon, in all his glory, was not clothed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink. And do not keep worrying, for it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. By yours, by right, O oh, Lamb. 
lamb that was slain. For with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. So to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. A song to the Lamb. Let us meditate on the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you, we praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We now come to that time of offering our own intercessions and thanksgivings this morning. We want to pray for all those who are suffering from COVID-19, 
both here in this country and around the world. We pray for all those who are caretakers, the doctors and the nurses, and family members. We pray for a swift end to this pandemic and a swift allotment of vaccines both in this country and around the world. We pray for all those overseas who may be in peril. We pray for those in conflict that peace will reign in Israel and Palestine. We pray for all those who may have families in harm's way. Keep them safe, Lord. We pray for this church, for all those in our congregation who may be ill, for Angela, for Ann, for my friend Bill, Pray for all those who may have lost a loved one, for Robin. We pray for our staff and for our ministers, Father Sherman and his family, Father Thomas and his family. We pray that St. Gregory's will continue to be a beacon of light and hope throughout South Florida and the world. We pray for the homeless, for the unemployed and the destitute. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. <clears throat> Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining me this morning. My name is Tim Brumfield, Director of Music and Organist here at St. Gregory's Episcopal Church in downtown Boca Raton, Florida. I had a bit of a hiccup this morning early. I didn't think I was actually going live, but it turned out that I was. <laughs> so I apologize for coming on twice. Um, thank you once again for being with me. I'm just going to adjust the camera. Give me a second. And I'm using a different mic this morning. So um, 
It may sound a little different today than it usually does. There we are. Hi, everyone. I realize I don't need this right now. <laughs> um, wonderful to be with you. I missed being with you last week. Um, I had just gotten my vaccine, my second dose of the vaccine, so uh, I wasn't quite up to par Wednesday morning. And uh, so thank you for uh, 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 your thoughts and your prayers last week. I really appreciated those. But all was well. I had very, very few side effects. So uh, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all vaccinated, so that's wonderful. So I hope all of you are as well. Uh, go and get your shots if you haven't. Um, it's the only way we're going to get through this uh, pandemic and a way for all of us to come back together safely and, uh, and be together once again. Uh, this evening, we have our holy happy hour with Father Sherman and Father Thomas in their Bible studies. And then at 8 o'clock, join Sam Cucci and myself for Compline. This is one of my favorite services. Uh, it's followed by an Oregon meditation. It's right here in the sanctuary with candlelight. It's a, it's a beautiful service. It's only about 30 minutes long. Um, it's all sung. Uh, some of it is spoken, most of it is sung by Sam. So I hope you'll join us tonight. Um, I don't think there are any other announcements. Um, my mom just left yesterday. She was here for two whole months and we had a wonderful time. So mom, if you're watching, I miss you terribly. I went home to an empty apartment last night and uh, I was there all by myself. So uh, uh, missing my mom. Uh, today. So, uh, um, happy Mother's Day to all those uh, this past weekend. So, if there are any hymn requests, let's see if, um, if I'm seeing any. I know one that comes to mind. Oh, I see, uh, Be Thou My Vision. Yes, that's beautiful. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, my Faith Looks Up to Thee uh, is one that I was thinking about as I was reading our scriptures for this morning. Um, such beautiful words from Christ. Uh, Do not worry, for all will be well if we just have faith. And I think, uh, as, as I was saying, those are some of my favorite scriptures. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. And uh, we are back in person on Sunday mornings at 8 and 10. And if you're not able to join us, uh, we are live streaming now our 10 o'clock service with our new AV system. It's incredible. Um, uh, it's, you, you'll feel just like you're here with us. So uh, I hope you will uh, tune in on Sundays at 10 o'clock. And if you're not able to watch us at that time, you can always watch it at any time. So uh, for instance, you can go back and watch this past Sunday's service. Um, it's all archived. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. I will end us with some music and uh, I'm going to move the microphone just a little bit this way um, so that it doesn't distort uh, the piano so that it'll sound better. So thank you all so much and I will see you tonight for Compline. And let's see if I can get a little bit better. There we go. All righty, thank you once again. And let's see, do that. That's a little better. There we go. All righty, be thou my vision and my faith looks up to thee. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much once again for joining me. Have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless. Thank you.